Hey, it's Tuesday. Welcome to our Facebook Live. Today we're going to talk about going deep and not wide, okay? So that's deep and not wide. Um, and honestly, this is just like, for me, this is really important. I don't know how many other people can relate, but you know, I did a five-day challenge eons ago, many months ago. At the end of that, there was this course, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to sign up for the course. So I purchased the course. Yeah, we're about six months in, almost six months in. I think I was hovering around 22% completion. And it really kind of struck me because I was having a conversation. It was a LinkedIn-related course. I was having a conversation, another sales call with someone else about their LinkedIn offer. And it was because he had reached out to me and, and he said something that I thought was interesting about um, what he noticed in my profile and different things. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get on the phone. So we get on the phone. And, you know, when I got off the call, because I was like, man, I'm not interested, you know. And plus it was like more than I was ready to invest at that particular point. And it really just kind of smacked me like a ton of bricks. Like, you already have a course. Like, you haven't completed that course. Like, how many times do we like spread ourselves wide, like thin, and we're trying to do all the things instead of going deep into the things that we have already signed ourselves up to do? All right. And so that can be a course, that can be professional development, that can be client experience, um, that could be automating your systems, fixing up your back end of your business. There are so many things and we try to do all the things and we spread ourselves wide instead of really going deep and picking like one thing, two things, three things that we're going to focus on that we know are capable and manageable. And those are the things that we go deep on and we actually get to that level of completion that we are actually looking for or that level of achievement that we are looking for. And so I want to challenge you like, um, for me, like the course, I was like, well, I kind of got good enough results from doing the challenge and then starting the course and doing some of the work in it. But why am I settling for good enough? Why are you settling for good enough? Um, is that really where we're at? Because it shouldn't be. You know, let's not settle for the good enough. Let's go ahead and do what we need to do to level up and go deep into the um the things that we commit ourselves to. So maybe it's, you said like, you know, networking, Facebook group. Okay. What are those one, two or three groups? Have you made a schedule of their promo days? When you're going to post in those, what days are you going to engage um, in posts that were posted by others? What is your plan for going deep into that as a strategy? You need to have a plan, not just I'm going to post more or be more active in Facebook groups. Um, what is your plan for, uh, what else could it be? Professional development. What are you doing to challenge yourself, to grow yourself? And this doesn't only apply to us as service-based providers, but it applies if your business is, is coaching. Like, how can you level up your coaching experience, okay? How can your clients really become those super raving fans? Um, what is it that you can offer them? What is it that you can do? If you're a service provider, hey, we're, we have like one day left to the end of September, which is also the end of quarter three. What are you doing to help your clients get ready for quarter four? Where are you challenging them? Um, where are you laying out plans? Where are you helping them to figure out how they might need to save this year, how they um, still achieve their goals for this year in light of quarter two, which is kind of crazy? How, if you haven't done that, then why haven't you? That is a way to go deeper with your client that shows them that you are definitely involved, um, you care about where their business is and where their business is going. So I say all of those things to say, like, don't spread yourself wide. Make it a habit of going deep into whatever it is that you are committing yourself to. Because that by going deep in whatever it is, Trust me, you will see far greater results than you would if you just kind of stayed up here in the wide good enough, okay? Nope, we're not doing that. We're heading into quarter four with the mindset that we're going deep. We are not going good enough. We are not going wide. So I want you to tell me in the comments one area, one 
that you are going to now go deep in and not wide. And I want to know that we can hold each other accountable. For me, I am going deep into my um, LinkedIn course, and I am also still deep in my group coaching program. And um, those, those are my areas. That's where I am right now, really going deep in. So you have heard me all say it. So hold me accountable. Question me. Make sure I'm staying on task. And let me know where you are going to go deep. So I'll talk to you later.